today I'll be showing you how to reinstall Windows 10 without the need of install media like a USB flash drive, um, a DVD, things like that. You won't need that because that's what this video is for. So why would you need to do this? Well, maybe you've messed something up on the computer, you've done something you didn't mean to do, um, system files get corrupted, or you've got a bunch of adware on your computer, it's really, really, really slow. So today I'm going to show you how to reset or reformat Windows 10 without install media. And yes, this works on Windows 10 1903, and that's what I'm using right now. And I'm doing this on June 19th, 2019. So, there's that. Now, um, the first step, you need to back everything up on your computer. And I'm talking about um, documents, pictures, music, or videos. You might want to back up your downloads if you want to, but um, you need to back all this up. Now, don't just back it up on your computer. You need to back it up on like a flash drive or the cloud. Now, with Windows 10 right here, you could use OneDrive, but I don't use OneDrive very often at all. I use Google Drive because it has 15 gigs of free storage up in the cloud. And that's really handy, and that's where I back everything on my computer up to. So, um, once you're sure you have everything backed up you need backed up, and also like if you've got a bunch of stuff on your desktop, that you back those up to an external device like flash drive or uh, the cloud. So once you have everything backed up, you can proceed to step two. Okay, so now... Um, I've got some new icons on my desktop. I've went and put adware on my computer from cnetsdownload.com. I've never used download.com. It's full of adware just like what I've got here. So, say you need to reinstall Windows. You don't have to install media and you're still watching this video. That's good. So I put this on my computer so that I can show you guys how it will remove the adware from my computer. But once you, what you want to do to actually reset it is to go to your start menu, what well, appears on of course, like at your desktop, go to start, and then go to settings. And then in the Windows settings app, you need to click on update and security. And right here on the left column, you need to click on recovery. And then recovery, right here there's advanced startup and reset this PC. We need to pay attention to reset this PC. Right here, it says, if your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them, and then reinstalls Windows. You need to click on the Get Started button. Now, I choose an option right here, Keep My Files. This will keep your personal files on your computer, so like documents, pictures, videos, uh, maybe downloads, I'm not sure yet. That, that, it will keep, it will keep that on your computer, but then it will remove all your programs and change all your settings back to default. You can do that, but I want to fully reinstall Windows, so I'm going to click on remove everything. And it's going to load for a minute. So right here, where it says current settings, just remove your files. This is quicker, but less secure. Now, um, if you're going to keep in the computer, and it's going to be your computer, then I would just leave it on the setting it is now. But if you're like selling or giving away the computer, then you need to change, click on change settings, and click on data erasure right here. Just remove your files. This is quicker, but less secure. Turn that on. And then it says it may take hours, but it will make it harder to recover the files. So it's going to go through and delete all your files. Then after that, it's going to go and overwrite all your files. So that it makes it much harder to get it recovered. But to make this video go faster, I'm not going to use that. Click next. Getting things ready. And then it says right here, resetting will remove all personal files and user accounts on this PC. Remove any changes made to settings and remove all apps and programs. So like if you have different users on your computer too, make sure that um, you, go, you log in their account or they log in the, their account and they back everything up off the computer because their stuff will be erased too and all their programs will be erased too. So once you confirm that everything's backed up, you need to click on reset and now it's preparing to reset and the computer will restart automatically so now um, we're just going to wait for the computer to restart 
Okay, so now the computer is restarting. And now it shows a Windows logo. And it says, please wait. And now it will get ready to uh, reset your PC. Alright guys, it just restarted again. And now it's preparing again. Now it says installing Windows. So it just erased our stuff. And now it's installing Windows again. Alright, so it just rebooted. I didn't hit record in time, but it said welcome. And then it went back to this screen. Now it says just a moment. And now it's just your regular Windows 10 setup. So if it yes, I am in the US. This, that is my keyboard layout. And now it's going to look for updates. Now this is the Windows 10 license agreement. Just click accept. How would you like to set up? I'm going to set it for personal use. I'm going to make an offline account. No. I'm going to type in my super secret username. My super secret password. My pet's first name was FBI. My nickname is FBI. I was born in FBI. I know it declined that. Decline Cortana. And I don't really care about online Cortana crap when it comes with Windows 10, so I'll just turn all that off. And now we are done. We just reinstalled Windows 10 without the need of installation media. And I just need to change my uh, resolution here real quick. Okay, so now you can see that all that adware was removed and it's not in the notification tray either. So that is how you reinstall Windows 10 without the need of installation media. Thank you for checking out my video and I also want to say thank you for um, even more views on my video of how to upgrade to Windows 10 for free from Windows 7 or 8.1. That video has been absolutely exploding on my channel and I'm almost up to a thousand subscribers. So that's, that's I mean a thousand doesn't seem like a lot if you're a big YouTuber, but it's a lot to me. So just want to say thank you and hope you enjoyed my video.